Hey, what's up everyone? Um, I like to check out other people's rigs on YouTube and stuff, so I guess since I have mine at home, I'll show it off. So yeah, this is just the stuff that I use for my band, Farewell to Arms. So it's just like my live stuff, it's not all of my gear. So here we go. Ivan has RG3 EX1. Really sweet guitar. Um, it's fairly cheap, I mean, price-wise, but the neck is really, really nice, has a good feel to it, it's fast, it's 24 frets, um, pickups designed by EMG, they're passive, but they're still, they've got some balls, so it's really nice. And then from there it goes into the X2 wireless by I think Line 6, and that's like really a nice wireless system for, you know, 200 bucks for the Stompbox version, you can't go wrong, I mean, it the sound, it never cuts out, it doesn't interfere, and it pretty much sounds like a cable, so. I, <coughs> sorry. Um, I had a Nady, really cheap wireless system before, it just broke, like, the, the, the jack on it just fell apart, so. Yeah, don't go cheap on that. And then from there, it goes into my pedal board, which is right here, on the pedal train pedal board. Right now it goes straight, so the wireless receiver, um, into a classic Crybaby Wah, you know, just for some solos and sweeping kind of effects. Um, that goes into the Ibanez Turbo Tube Screamer. It's really nice to um, boost your amp, you know, get some sweet harmonics like pinch harmonics and also just get a little extra distortion stuff um, then the MXR carbon copy that also is a sweet delay you have to like when you're playing at high gain kind of stuff you have to turn the mix knob down a lot or else it gets really um, too there's way too much the delay is way too loud and just crowds everything up so and yeah for clean this thing sounds just so sweet. Um, this is my friend's noise suppressor. I'm just using that right now until I get an ISP decimator whenever I get money. So it's going to probably be a while. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, it's alright. It's, you know, it does the job, but it cuts some sustain off. Um, and then, yeah, right here, this spot here, I'm going to get the foot switch for my amp to change channels and to turn the boost on and then right here I'll be getting a cork pitch black tuner sometime when I have money also and then this thing that isn't in any of the I don't use it like in my effects chain all it is is I recorded you know the boss loop station I recorded bass drops in here and then all we do live is just plug the output straight into the sound system and that's how we trigger our bass drops and it sounds really sick so yeah and then it goes into my amp pv valve king you know 100 watt all tube head um really you know it's sweet amp if you want to play like hard rock it's perfect for metalcore you kind of have to boost it like i'm doing with the tube screamer but yeah so that and then into the Marshall MG412B cabinet. The B's just mean just it's straight instead of slanted. And yeah, it's I mean it's cheap, but it does the job, you know, it's alright. And in the effects loop of my amp I have a BB Sonic Stomp Sonic Maximizer. And this thing just makes a huge difference. It's it's awesome. You should get one. It, just adds so much clarity to your sound and yeah I'll probably demonstrate that later on so and I forgot to say for my pedal train pedal board I got the hard shell case which is right here and yeah it's really sweet keeps your stuff protected put all my cables and stuff and it's really easy to set up for gigs you just take it out and take your pedal board out and plug it in so Yep, that's pretty much my rig. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed it. If you have any comments, let me know. And thanks for watching.